Well, now it's been about four hours since I took the uh, tool out of the um, oven. Maybe not even that. Maybe maybe two to three hours actually. And uh, it's cooled down. It's cooled down quite a bit. I turned it over and put it on top of a uh, pie tin, but initially I just want to show you to look at it. It's dark. The uh, pitch uh, turpentine mixture has definitely soaked in to the tool somewhat unevenly, but it should be adequate uh, for our purposes, purposes. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shellac it. And the purpose of shellacking it is just to seal this tool real well. I bought some shellac, bullseye shellac, at uh, the Home Depot this evening. I took, out, took my wife out for a ride. It cost about six dollars. Uh, bullseye shellac, traditional finish and sealer, dries in minutes. Danger, extremely flammable, vapor harmful, causes eye irritation, contents under pressure. Well, I do keep a candle lit for Jimmy, but because this is highly flammable, I'm not going to use it in the presence of an open flame, so I'm going to move the candle to the other side of the room. Out of camera shot. <clears throat> now, I shook the can for about a minute. I'm just shaking it a little more. Take the top off. And this is supposed to be applied in quick, short strokes. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And it's acting as a sealer. Turn it around a little bit. I want to get the entire side. By turning this upside down on the pie tin, I'm effectively assuring that the surface that I treat it will not be affected by the shellac. Any good auto body man will tell you you have to be careful about overspray because overspray means you're wasting shellac, you're wasting paint. And we don't want to waste it, but at the same token we want to make sure that the tool is fairly well sealed. And this is really absorbing into the dental stone. Not putting on real heavy coats, and it says it dries in minutes, and you know what, it looks like it is drying pretty well. But by the same token, I do want to have a lot on here because I really do want it to seal. This stuff is not really too soluble, soluble in water, but I'm going to be using it for a very long time. Hey, if I look like a walking billboard, this is my New Mexico Tech shirt. New Mexico Tech is a wonderful school in Socorro, New Mexico, in the middle of the desert. I think Bill Gates has termed it as a jewel in the desert, uh, where you can learn all sorts of important uh, things such as science and engineering. I attended New Mexico Tech. I earned an associate's degree only. I couldn't handle the math at a young age. I think I'd like to go back now, but I'm a practicing attorney, I've got kids, and I just don't have the ability to do so. They have courses in, in all of the earth sciences, uh, geology, mining engineering, petroleum engineering, they're big on physics, really big on physics. The NRAO, National Radio Astronomy Observatory, is located on campus. They also have a massive 27-dish radio telescope, the NRAO out about uh, 50 miles west of uh, Socorro, out in the middle of the desert, called the VLA, and you may have heard of it. Uh, they run a program called Emertech for first responders to emergency situations. And it's a great school, and if, I'm, uh, if I sound like a bit of a commercial, look like a bit of a billboard, well, I probably am. I helped them to do recruiting. But if you're a young person and you're thinking of a place to go to college to study astronomy or to study uh, you know, advanced science and really get into the calculus and the math of it. 
uh, New Mexico Tech is the place to go. It's a great school, Socorro, New Mexico, and uh, you can look it up on the internet at www.nmt.edu. Well, for this evening, I have now shellacked my tool. I'm ready to uh, let it dry. I'm going to let it dry overnight. Not that I necessarily need to, but I'm going to let it dry overnight and into tomorrow. And uh, when it's dry, then we will pour a pitch lap. So hopefully tomorrow on Saturday, now that this has cooled down, I'll move my schedule up a little bit. We'll pour a bit of a pitch lap, and I'll be ready to begin polishing on these optical flaps, which is something that I'm pretty excited about. So for tonight, good night. I'm Francis O'Reilly, and we'll see you in the morning.